Hello, dear students. It's English time. I hope everyone is doing well today. And today our theme is adjectives. Are you ready? Let's go. Before starting, I have a question for you. What do you know about adjectives? Do you know what does an adjective mean? Where and how do we use it? Today I will explain it. Look at the picture, please. Blue, cold, happy are adjectives. So, an adjectives are describing word. An adjective gives more information about something. An adjective generally describes a noun. A noun is a person, a thing or a place. Look here, please. This is the monster. The monster is a thing. The monster is a noun. And there is a description of monster. The green monster. Green is an adjective. Adjectives describe color, size, number, texture, flavor, shape, behavior. Adjectives used to describe noun and pronoun. Let's see some pictures on the slide. These are some examples of adjectives. Read, please. He is angry. She is sad. They are dangerous. The famous actor. A dirty t-shirt. What can we see on these examples? Can you see the differences here? Yes. The three sentences here describe the pictures with the verb to be. And two sentences of them are just a description of a noun. What is the position of the adjective? Where do we put the adjective? Do we say the green monster or the monster green? The correct order is the green monster. The order is adjective plus noun. The green is an adjective. Monster is a noun. Green is a description of the monster. Green is an adjective. We do not say the monster green. No, the adjective is before the noun. The green monster. Remember, please, the structure. Adjective plus noun. For example, a tolerant person. A green apple. A traditional sport. We can also use the verb to be plus adjective. For example, look on the picture. Is the monster happy? No, the monster is sad. Sad is an adjective. Is is a form of the verb to be. The monster is. After is, we put the adjective. Is sad. We can say the sad monster. Adjective plus noun. Not the monster sad because the monster is sad. Here we have the structure to be plus adjective. Sad is an adjective. The structure to be plus adjective. For example, Norlan is tall. It was my first debate. So, what is the correct order of adjectives before a noun? The order of adjectives before a noun is usually the following. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose. If we take the first letter of each one, it creates a suscomb, which is an easy way to remember the order. Let's look an example about describing a bag and dress. It is an ugly, small, old, thin, red, Italian cotton 
sleeping bag. It is not common to have so many adjectives before a noun, but I do this, though you can see the correct order of adjectives. Ugly is an opinion, small is a size, old refers to age, thin refers to shape, red is a color. Italian refers to its origin. Cotton refers to the material the bag is made of. Sleeping is the purpose of the bag. Let's do a quiz with word order of adjectives. Together, let's go! Here we have adjectives which describe a ring. There are new, gold, nice, round, Kyrgyz, yellow, huge. Do you remember the order of adjectives? Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose, or assess comp. Do it by yourself, please, and then we will check it together. The opinion is nice. The size is huge. The age is new. The shape is round. The color of our ring is yellow. It was made in Kyrgyzstan. That is why it's Kyrgyz. The material is gold. The purpose is in judgment. And the full answer. The nice, huge, new, round, yellow, Kyrgyz, gold, in judgment, ring. Look, please. Here we have the sentence where we need to add words, green and modern, in the sentence. They play in a big stadium. Where have we to add green and modern? Remember, the order of adjectives through opinion size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose. Let's see the answer. They play in a modern, big, green stadium. Modern is an opinion. Big is a size. Green is a color of our playground. You are doing a great job. Let's continue to learn more about adjectives. Adjectives can be formed by the group of the suffixes at the end of the base word. There is a rule for forming adjectives. We know they are adjectives usually by what they do as a sentence. Okay, what is suffix? A suffix is a letter or a group of letters added at the end of a word, which makes a new word. The new word is most often a different word class from the original word. Let's move forward. Here is the list of suffixes. They are endings which are typical of adjectives. If you see these endings at the end of the world, you can be certain it's an adjective. Let's read them together. Suffix able, al, ual, an, en, ary, full, less, ish, ive, ic. O, U, S, some, and Y. Here we can see adjectives made from nouns or verb. Helpful, colorful, nervous, comfortable, and girlish. And now we are going to see how the adjectives can be formed. To begin with, we will see the formation of adjectives from nouns. Adding suffixes to a noun 
is the most common way to create an adjective. Look on this table, please. We can add the suffix y, l, or il to a noun to form an adjective. So, let's read the words hair, hairy, gloss, glossy, is, easy, luck, lucky, magic, magical, nature, natural, commerce, commercial. On this table, we can see another way to form adjectives from nouns. This is adding the suffix ly, ic, ish to a noun. Let's read the words human, humanly, man, manly, girl, girlish, child, childish, tragedy, tragic, artist, artistic. To learn and to understand, we will watch a video. We will learn how an adjective can be formed. We can form an adjective from a noun. For example, gold, golden. Here, the adjective golden is formed from the noun gold. We can form an adjective from a verb too. For example, taste, tasty. Here, the adjective tasty is formed from the verb taste. Did you know an adjective is formed when a suffix is added at the end of the word? Let us learn more about it. Some adjectives end with suffix y or ly. For example, silk, silky, friend, friendly. Some adjectives end with suffix able or some. For example, enjoy, enjoyable, trouble, troublesome. Next is adjectives ending in OUS, IOUS or FUL. For example, courage, courageous, glory, glorious, play, playful. Some adjectives also end in ish or al. For example, child, childish, nature, natural. While some adjectives end with suffix less. For example, sense, senseless. The suffix able means able to or capable of being. Let us look at four examples. The first one is reason plus suffix able and the answer is reasonable. Break, breakable. Read, readable. Enjoy, enjoyable. Let us see what mean new words. Reasonable able to reason, breakable, capable of being broken, readable, able to read, enjoyable, capable of giving enjoying or pleasure. Let's look at adjectives ending in L. The meaning of suffix L is of a relating to or connected with. Let us look at four examples. Music, musical. Comic, comical. Classic, classical. Coast, coastal. Let us see what mean new words. Musical, related to music. For example, she is musical. Comical, relating to comedy. For example, the circus clone was very comical. Classical relating to art forms such as a style of music 
written in Europe in the past, or for example, she likes classical music, coastal, of a coast, for example. It is a coastal settlement. Now let's look at the summary of the adjectives that can be formed by adding suffixes. Break plus able, breakable. Music plus al, musical. Fact plus ual, fatal. Suburb, suburban. Gold, golden. Custom, customary. Thank, thankful. Adjectives are also formed from the prefixes. What is prefixes? A prefix is a place at the beginning of the word. For what? For the changing its meaning. This slide shows four different examples. Patience is the base word. When you add im in front of it, it becomes an adjective, impassioned. You do the same with the rest of words. Accurate, inaccurate. Logical, illogical. Friendly, unfriendly. Here are two more examples. Responsible, irresponsible. Honest, dishonest. And now, dear girls and boys, let's check. What do you remember from the lesson? What is an adjective? An adjective gives more information about something. An adjective generally describes a noun. A noun is a person, a thing, or a place. An adjective also describes pronouns. There are I, he, she, it, we, you, they. What also can do adjectives? Adjectives can describe behavior, number, size, color, flavor, texture. Let's see some examples about behavior. Behavior can be passive. Also, person can be assertive. And a person can be aggressive. What can we say about size? It's big and small. It's tall, medium height and short and fat and thin. Adjectives are also different colors. They are blue, green, yellow, violet, red, orange, black, white, etc. What about texture? Texture can be hard, fluffy, soft, Sticky, bumpy, fuzzy. Do you remember the structure of using adjectives with noun? Yes, adjectives plus noun. Remember, please, the adjectives is before the noun. For example, a traditional sport. Red apples. A huge tree. What about the general order of adjectives before a noun? Do you remember the order? Let's see. Yes, the general order of adjectives before a noun is the following. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, Purpose. Let's see on this example with noun back and its description. Ugly is opinion. Small is size. Old is age. Thin is shape. Red is color. Italian is origin. Cotton is material. Sleeping is purpose. And back is noun. Let's do a task. 
where you have to put all adjectives by general order. Here we have description of dress. Wedding, long, beautiful, silk, French, white. Think please and put in general order. All these adjectives, please. Let's check. Beautiful, long, white, French, silk, wedding, dress. Dear boys and girls, well done. You did a great and hard work today. S dear students, thank you for your attention. I hope you learned something new today. And remember, learning English can be fun. Goodbye.